my ghost the motorcycle community has stood tall throughout this whole virus situation i see more mcs more bikes than ever are we bugging should we be social distancing or is it time to show the government that they just can't tell us to shut up and stay home we get into it on this episode of demons row tv no yeah we ghosting baby My ghosts, welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost, I'm your host for the evening, and today we're going to talk about it, the right side of history, the true patriots, the last real men and women left, and I'm talking about MC culture. We gonna get into that, but the first thing I want you to do, like we always do on this channel, is to hit me with that pound, ghosting, and that lets me know you're alive and well, sitting on twos, doing what you do, or just part of the Demons Row community, one of my ghosts. Shout to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the row. Follow the Sosta Ghost YouTube page. We got a lot of content dropping on there. Follow me on Instagram at Sosta Ghost underscore at Demons Row. I'm big on supporting small business. Support the people that look like you, that move like you, that live in your community. And when they get their money, you're rubbing elbows with money. Polo, Gucci, Chanel, all that Fifth Avenue shit is being pushed on you and you're feeding into it. Don't be programmed. This type of shit is dope. And that leads me in to the certified ghost of the week because she's on my shirt right now. And her name is April Flores. And she is from California. She's FatboyLover408 on Instagram. Follow her. One of the craziest bikes on the set. She does the modeling. She got her own clothing line. Her husband got the clothing line. They're moving out there in Cali. Big pillars of the community. And these are the type of people that I want to represent for. In her bio, it says, Since having been rear-ended at a high-speed rate by another biker while riding, I have become a bit of an inspiration to both men and women. I recovered from a traumatic brain injury and back surgery, but never lost the love of riding. I've been truly blessed to have an outpouring of love and support from the biker community. It has been worth the pain and struggle of my recovery to know that I have helped so many women get over their fear and for some to get past the fear and abuse from partners to get on and ride. I hope that I have a part in paving the way for women to believe they can ride a bike like mine, which most consider a man's bike. So shout to you Formosa, you are a certified ghostette. This week's certified ghost goes out to Sonny Dayton's from Thug Riders MC 1%. Yes, this is my cousin, but there's nothing impartial about this. He is the reason why I am a 1%er right now. He pulled me out of gang culture and showed me what it is to be a 1%er. He got records with Gilly the Kid, Casio. He is a strong pillar of the MC community. So Cuzzo, you are certified ghost. So let's get into it. When this whole virus scare started, a lot of people were staying home. I didn't see as much cars out. I didn't see as much functioning going on. I, I see people, when they have a birthday, they have cops rolling by, flashing their lights for their kids. And this is becoming a trend now. So they tell us to stay home, to be scared and then cops roll by with their sirens on and your kids are clapping. Now, this mentality is crazy to me, the way everybody wants to follow 
what they see somebody else do somebody does a little corny little TikTok, you know challenge to a drake beat everybody starts doing the challenge we gotta have a little bit more originality than that you know what i mean and that's why i feel like we're sitting on the right side of history i am proud of the culture i represent because you know what the other day we were riding i don't know how many of us was maybe like 70 we were super deep i was putting clips up on on my instagram follow that at Sosta the ghost underscore i post a lot of the club stuff because i try to keep it you know separate from the show i don't want my views to be looked at as club views because i'm a man i stand on my own and i take whatever i say i have to stand on that and that's the agreement that we have for people who ask about it so i don't like on demons row stuff i don't post myself with my cut and stuff like that no more just out of respect for my club and the big bros you know what i'm saying but the other day we had a breakout ride we we've been riding but in, in my club we have a breakout ride every year let me know in the comments too if you have breakout rides in your club but we have that one breakout ride where we all get together as a chapter but we had other chapters we had jersey we had um rhode island come you know what i'm saying connecticut so it, it was cool a whole bunch of us got together we were, we were 70 some deep i don't know if we were like 100 deep i'm not sure it was a lot of us went for a nice ride and it was just it felt good you know what i mean like police wasn't even messing with us it was it's kind of a weird vibe like in connecticut cops don't really mess with bikers too much they, out here they don't really stress you you know what i mean new york is a whole nother ball game new york is police stated out so if you're from another state and you cruising through new york you know you you touring around or whatever and you make your way through new york just understand when you come up this way it gets super tight that helmet gotta be on in my clips a lot of people get on me because i just have the face mask on and i'm not riding with a helmet on out here in connecticut they don't have those type of laws you know so I, I like that i feel like a bobblehead when i ride with a helmet i know you know you're supposed to have a lid to protect yourself i will eventually get one i've been saying that shit for a long time but i do need to get one but we was just super deep and and, and i didn't see people acting all scared i want to give a big shout out to my brothers because guess what these dudes is out here and i see that there's a lot of other clubs that they're hiding out right now so i don't want to hear that super tough shit later on all you people that were scared of a sneeze and then you come out when all this is over and you poking your chest out so i got mad love for our community because i see that a lot of people have been standing tall it's not just my club as a community as a whole i've been noticing like we've been out there and it was good to see everybody together and, and just have a good time and not let these dark times keep us from continuing to live our lives there's a lot of strokes and 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 sicknesses and flus and stuff like that that people normally die from they're getting marked down as covid because guess what there's a higher budget when you do that so they get paid more and if they put you on you know ventilation or whatever they get even more money so always remember that with medical it's also business and with the media when you watch the news and stuff always understand they're doing what a lot of these other youtubers do and they're just posting whatever for clicks so take what's being said with a grain of salt i know people are dying and i'm not discounting that but a lot i'm telling you a lot of the deaths are cancers aids like the regular stuff that people die from flus stuff like that all of a sudden you don't see the, those numbers are going down just check it check the facts don't just believe what you hear on the news the news is not the law walmart is not the law even though they think they do but this is a trial run and this is why i respect the mcs in this culture because they let the government know that listen regardless of what this is real shit i lost a cousin behind this you know what i mean this is real shit but this this they take advantage of the real shit and, and try to stretch the truth a little bit more than it is to get money out of it political sway all type of things so don't let yourself be scared and stuck in the house and like i always say on this channel i believe that when you have purpose when it's your time to go it's your time to go it doesn't matter we are a culture that sits on tools and rise at some of the highest speeds one tip and your life is over so are you really going to be scared of somebody who's sneezing everybody wasn't moving the same way 
you know carefree like me and some and, and most other brothers some people were were you know had their little face masks on with their logo or whatever and shit like that and were practicing social distancing even though we were all you know very deep and, and hanging out together eating burgers and shit like that joking around but some people still were covered up you know a little nervous to get sick and, and i get it but nonetheless i see a lot of people in my circle are living their life I look on Instagram, I see Lydia, I see Gangsta Viklas, I see all these people. I, I, I see Fatboy Lover, I see her husband outlaw. You know what I mean? They, they're out here riding it. I see the clips like they're out. It's not last year's shit. It's like, yo, they're out now. So I respect this culture and I feel like we're on the right side of history. I feel like it's the perfect evolution from gang culture like when you're tired of all the drama and the negativity and you want that same camaraderie come to this culture I guarantee you you will not regret it it has changed my life for the better I, I am so hyped about the people that I've been meeting I've been meeting some really dope people with drive and ambition and, and I really believe that we are celebrities in this culture and my theory is let's let's take anybody let's take who's who's like the most famous person in the world uh, a drake or, or justin b whoever it is you know what i mean a j-lo whoever it is when they jump out their car you may take a glance or whatever if you notice that is them then then if you're a fan of them then you'll go crazy but a mc or just anybody in the culture that sits on twos and do what they do there is no mistake in it. You have to turn your head when you see them pull up. It's just a celebrity vibe. It's like the pilots, you know, back, I don't know when that era, when they were really popping. I don't know if it was like the 60s or the 50s or whatever. They were like rock stars back then. I feel like MC culture is, is that's what they are. That's what we are, rock stars. Like when you pull up, little kids are smiling like everybody's looking it's a special vibe a lot of people look down on one percenters and, and the way we live our lives but things are changing man mcs one percenters like we really out here and we doing right for the community we having good times yeah you know there's some street beefs that go on but a lot of that is not even club based it's more like people that have problems with other people it don't even be over territory all, all the time a lot of times it's beef that would go on whether they was in a club or not it's just people that don't function well together so that type of stuff goes on but where i'm at i don't see much of it i see a lot of love a lot of respect everywhere we go and i just want to give a big shout out to this culture man i'm just proud to represent it and i love wearing the clothes all the different races and the different kind of cuts and you know it's just it's amazing man it's a great thing to be a part of if you're on the fence and you're thinking about it come home mc culture is waiting for you you will have fun out here if you want to support the row take this share it on your social media twitter facebook instagram whatever you want to share it on you don't have to ask me anytime you want take the link and share it also you could cop the demons row merch Thank you for tuning in to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture. Like, subscribe, and comment. And no, oh yeah, we ghosting, baby.